In today's presentation, High Probability Trade Setups, Facts and Figures, we want to invite you to find trade constellations that you know at entry that have a higher probability for a further price expansion and for that for you to make more money to the upside or to the downside. My name is Thomas Barman. I'm your presenter today and I want to make you aware of the risk in trading and that we are not acting as broker dealers or financial advisors. A sound and successful trader knows at entry how far most likely a price move will last. With that, it gives you the ability to always invest where prices move. And that is a key for successful trading. So with all our systems, we give you bar by bar an idea how much price pressure is behind a potential move. And we only trade at certain constellations when that price direction move is confirmed by our indicators. And so therefore you will get an idea always where is your potential reward, where is your risk at setup and how you can put them in correlation to trade with the odds in your favor. On the regular, we trade for one speed unit price moves. However, our clients now challenged us and said, can't you find us constellations that have a higher price pressure in the up or downside direction so that we can choose those and trade for a further expansion? And we took on that challenge and I think we mastered it and we want to show you here the results that you can also put into your trading. Don't we all want more, in particular when it's good and, and healthy? Yeah, so let us look how we helped our clients to find those setups and what the results were of finding them, following them through and what was achieved. At the beginning of 2017, we built the base for that system. Yeah, Find price expansion setups that have more pressure in the up or downside direction. And we started to record what we found and then took a period and you will see in detail what we did of 31 days where we measured how well we did within finding the opportunities and following them through. The alert we built for our clients is called the Nevelos Trading Strong Movers Alert. Yeah, And as said, it is good for 31 day period that we tested with it, uh, which is just over right now because you always have to have a little period after that you see how all the trades concluded. And now we're going into details with you. But before we, we do that, we'll look at our price move and price expansion model. So we only trade at a certain constellation when certain price thresholds are surpassed and you know at entry or can formulate your entry with a buy stop or sell stop order where you say only if the price moves above that level then I buy at such and such price level. Very easy to establish. I'll give you some of the examples and you see it right from the chart. This way you will experience how to trade with defined entries and after that with defined exits and defined stops and with the odds evaluation. Yeah, if you put the entry exit stop in relation, you'll know which of the price setups are more in your favor than others. And with that, you can direct your money or what we did here. We took all the setups that fulfilled the requirements of risk and reward based on our definition and then measured how well we were within predicting the future price expansion and the price direction. A good fisherman fishes where the fish are and we want to look where the big fish are. And so with that, we develop that for futures, for Forex, for stocks and for options in particular also too, and for daily and two hour setups. So we put all of that into a report and then started to measure. And today we'll focus on stocks, giving you a feedback on how the results came out. On the left, you see the statistics and I'll go through the details with you and what they all means. But at the end of the day, results matter. We can summarize that we had 76% winners. So 68 trades came to winning in a 31 day period, 90 trades in total. Yeah. And so with that, we had 24% losers. That's fine and very okay. And that's high probability trading. And we found repetitive patterns of so things that repeat themselves that you can kind of bank on that they're going to be with a high probability getting you the price direction again and again. So here's the overview of everything. And let me guide through. Let me highlight one of the key things here for you. 
So all in all, in that 30-day period that we observed, which was January 9 through February 23 of 2017, there were 162 highlighted trading opportunities. As you saw prior, we had 90 that came forward. Why is that? Why is that difference? The difference is because, as you saw it in our model, sometimes the direction was not confirmed. So we had the price threshold, let's say, buy above $90, and the price never got there in the next bar. Then there was no reason to do the trade. And that's the difference in here. So, so again, we had 31 days that we observed. Yeah? We had, in total, 107 stocks that initiated 162 trades so that you see it's very important to have a fish finder if you only concentrate on a couple of stocks you might always invest at the times when the prices don't move and with that you don't make a return but with that model that we follow will give you constant ideas of where prices move and with that you have an idea of where you invest your money because it's substantial when you see would you have been able to find on your own 107 trading opportunities on stocks that built 162? So the in average, yeah, it's 1.5. So some came up more than once in the 30-day period as an opportunity. But that's also important. But still, it's a big, big variety of stocks that makes and gives you the opportunity day by day because institutional money flows in and flows out. Let us now look on both sides, the entry and the exit here. So first of all, we look here. We had 68 winning trades, so 76% of the opportunities that are realized, and our exit rules. So we either exited after two SPOO, because by our statistics, we know after two SPOO price expansion, there's an 85% probability that the price halters, slightly retraces, or even reverses prior to a breakout potentially. But this is where mostly then people give back the profit that is already made. And so with that, we have either two spoo or we have a tower to tower here, yeah? light tower to light tower. So this focuses here on the Nevelos trading top line and HF model, because this is where you see the tower to tower moves. Uh, we have a maximum of 10 bars here. Yeah? So after 10 bars, we close the trade regardless of. And we have also a price expansion, the border of the science zone or the cloud of the science zone. That's one of our price expansion borders. All of those together made the rules and saying, OK, how can we find expansions and how can we find what limits those expansions to a certain degree that we can take profit before the price retraces, halters or reverses? Looking at the side of the losses here. Yeah? here, 24% or 22 trades out of 90, where was our stop level? We did a test of two stop levels. One is in our light towers, there is a cyan dot, and we, we set the stop in the vicinity of the cyan dot if there was a certain constellation that you see on the chart, or we set it on the bottom of the candle, two spool below the candle, and with that had a clearly defined stop where the price move will go and where it will end the trade in a negative way. Yeah? And so I can tell you already, the shorter stop was not successful. So we'll stay, we have to stay basically as traders with a little bit wider stop, but that also gives the price the wiggle room it deserves for moving in the desired direction. A key question is, do prices always move? No, they don't. Or sometimes they move very volatile, but not directional. And to highlight when such an opportunity is on the chart, or maybe where you don't want to participate, we develop what we call here the purple zone. The purple zone gives you an indication when prices are very hard to predict. Yeah, so you know when a price is in a certain expansion area that it's hard to predict. And how do you see that? Let me just go ahead and I show you on the chart. So here you have the typical purple zone. And you see here, there prices don't make those moves as nice as here. You saw here, nice price threshold follows through. Yeah, tower to tower price threshold uh, fulfilled, followed through in a big price expansion here, also a price, price move expansion. So we said up to 10 bars, so it's there. But whenever you are in a purple zone, then prices go and go back and forth and are hard to predict. So what we found out yeah, is that when a price move was started in a purple zone, yeah, we had 35 potential price moves. Then it still was in spec. It was above 65%, but had a lower probability of winning, yeah, 66 to 76. However, the 12 losses that we made, uh, uh, 12 of the losses that we made, 
yeah, out of 22, which is uh, 55%, derived when we took a trade in the purple zone. So you see how important it is to understand and what circumstances you enter a trade and what to expect. And this is where a lot of the retail traders have no orientation and that triggers the results the retail traders often achieve. That means they give the money back to the market instead of having a system and education that helps them to identify high probability trade setups. Speaking in technical terms, there is a thing called signal to noise and we want to identify in certain areas where there's a strong signal or when it's very noisy that no signal can be detected. And the problem is our brains are wired to detect patterns and thus the inexperienced trader always is looking for a signal regardless of what it is. And so therefore we have people come to us and say, I only trade Apple. Yes, yeah, it's nice, but then you might not have that many opportunities in case Apple doesn't move. Then uh, you what, what are you going to do with your money? You might have uh, get stopped all the time because you may be in one of those expansion areas where from the get go, you know, it's very volatile and directional trades are not expected. But before or after that era, there is a lot of opportunity as you saw on the chart prior and this is what we want to help you with to identify price points on the chart where it's easy to find very super duper expansions here look at this nicely announced nicely announced here too and areas where it's not worthwhile to put your money in a certain instrument. But as you saw, we identified 107 different stocks that produced 162 potential opportunities. And with that, money always moves in and out of an asset. You just have to find where that is happening. And this is where we help you with, with the never loss trading alerts. Let me further explain our findings here. So let us start jointly here looking at the winning trades yeah, and back in analysis. So 68 winners we had or 76%. And uh, so the uh, minimum threshold we set for a system that is high probability is 65%. Test your system over 100 trades with clear cut entries, exits. If it's uh, at or above that, then you already have what you want, else you might want to consider what we offer to you here. Yeah. Then we also looked at what I just explained prior. We looked if we keep a very short stop, so we want to risk very little, but the outcome with the short stop was we could sh stop more often and with that we reduced our winning rate out of the total and only had a 53 percent winning rate so you see how important it is to understand where your stop goes so that you give the price a minimum volatility to expand in the right direction and we tested all that step by step over uh, 90 trading opportunities that realized or 162 that were triggered in a 31 day period giving you a lot of ideas of where to enter, where to exit, and how to place your stops. Analyzing the trades that came to a stop, and I'll have to fill in here our name, Never Lost Trading, came from Never Stop Loss Trading, because here we would even show you methods of how you can adjust your trade so you can either minimize your loss or you can turn a potential loser into a winner. But we want to take the stop here. We just want to say, okay, when it came to a stop, then it's a losing trade. We don't want to try to fix it afterwards. And as you saw, we had 24% or 22 trades out of 90 that came to it. And again, look, this purple zone that I showed you, just this area where it was crucial, 12 of the 22, 55% showed you it's risky when you take a trade that way. And do you have that on your chart too? Most likely not, but do you see how essential it is? Because you could have reduced your losses drastically within not accepting trades that came out of a purple zone here. Yeah? And so when we also look directional, we had 108 bullish setups and 54 bearish setups. So 67 to 33, is it always like that? No, it was the period that we observe, January 9 to February 23, 2017 and you see also one thing 13 of the 22 losses that we made uh, came out of counter the overall direction that's also important but you know we're still taking those because do we know how it, it works if the market goes only one direction or what it takes no we don't and with that we're taking opportunities and that's important and essential for you to participate in the opportunities that are there in average, when you can achieve a 76-24 ratio, you should be in the game for producing income. For being able to repair trades, we help you to find those stocks. And here's the sample of stocks we haven't 
currently in our portfolio, and that's very many, trust me. And so 23% derived from technology, 19 from consumer, 16 financial. What you see here is we have a wide variety and portfolio where those 107 stocks came from that were triggering potential opportunities and 90 opportunities that realized because the pre-formulated price threshold was surpassed in the next candle. In summary, high probability trading seems to be a complex undertaking, but I think we solved it for our clients and we can solve it for you within giving you a clear cut report. So just look at this. Yeah, so here's a report example where we are laying, laid out three bearish opportunities here, yeah, CHK, KMI and AA, all bearish opportunities. What's the difference in colors? This one is easier to trade with options than the other two, so therefore this one can be easier repaired than the other two. Uh, or if we do option trades, the uh, AA has a much bigger variety of offering than the other two have and a, a tighter bid and ask spread. So that's all contained in that information. So the setup is favorable. Yeah, then uh, there is a constellation that we lay out. It's a weakness on low, so something that might break down. It's a mid range weakness or price came down and it's top weakness here. Yeah? So then we have the sectors, two out of the oil and gas sector, one out of metal and mining. Then we give you an overall indication of how did it close yeah, to, from open to close that day that we observed, uh, what was the direction of the momentum. We explain all that, but it's important. There you have always an entry trigger, yeah? very clearly spelled out. Where do we want to enter? So where was the last price or the closing price? Where do we want to enter? What's the minimum price move to target? And what's the average expected price move to target? So you see on average expectation, return on cash measured here, there's a, between a, a six, three, five percent return potential in those individual setups. And you know that from the get go and you can compare them to what you have to risk in the individual trade situation and that decide. But we did that already because we compared them and give you here the idea, okay, it's a favorable setup. So when you take all these three, or when you took all these three, how did it pan out? Let us take a look at the chart of AA, yeah, Alcoa. Uh, and here you see there was the entry that was formulated on the chart. And so the next candle ticked out the price threshold. This candle we call a light tower candle. It is highlighted by the cyan dot in uh, that candle. The cyan dot is in the calculated space. And uh, we told you before, we measured also against putting a stop in that vicinity, but that wasn't so successful. Stop goes right above here. Yeah, so that was the stop. And then we traded for the constellation, either a two spool price expansion, spot here. Yeah, so there's the one spool price expansion, two spool is here, and we ended there. But also we ended in what we call a tower to tower constellation. So a price move that starts in the light tower likes to end in the light tower. And then you see now how you can trade with precision within following those patterns. So the price threshold was ticked out to the downside, gave you enough time to enter either a short position or you buy the referring put and we teach which one to buy and what the maximum price is you pay for it so that you can negotiate yourself into the trade. And you see here there was enough time to do so. And then bang, exit at the closing of that bar. Yeah, and you are out of the trade. And what happened then? A little deeper it dipped, but then price reversed. And this is what traders often are missing. Clear cut rules. So we have here the rules. Either you go after two spool, you go out, you leave after 10 bars, or you trade a tower to tower constellation. And when you follow those, you know when to enter, you know how to uh, get into at which price, and you know at which constellation you exit. And with that here, you made a sound 5.3% return. Now we are looking at the Nevelos trading top line chart for Chesapeake Energy, small stock. And again here, short opportunity, short opportunity triggered. And now when we trade for either two spool 10 bar, yeah, so a 10 bar opportunity would be all the way down there. And we drew a line where that was hit. And so then you have even an opportunity for trading for 12% or 12.6% return on cash or 25% if you use a margin account and you realize margin. And these are substantial, substantial returns in a matter of a couple of days to be in a trade. And as you saw, these reports come out daily and give you an idea of where to enter, where to exit into high probability, strong directional price setups. What does it take to realize those opportunities to have a high winning percentage and a strong price expansion? You need 
never lost trading top line and currently we are offering a scale down version never lost trading top line light which is a more budget price version of the overall concept and that you can see on the chart of what's happening when a price is in the purple zone how it's expanding where to put and trace and trail a stop if you wanted to trail your stop you basically would use this red line after entry here. So you see that's about the volatility you need to give us. And so always one bar behind. So there with this line, it's called a double decker line. There you will trail your stop. And so if the expansion moves on after 10 bars, then you can surely expand it. But by our statistics, after 10 bar, strong price move in one direction, it is wise to take profits. If you like to be part of high probability trading, what does it take? So the mentorship is always one-on-one -on -one training because we focus on your specific wants and needs, on your specific trade situation, constellation, risk, and all you like to move and act and best available times too. Yeah? And so we install all the software on the server so it will be available then also on the next computer or multiple computers if you want to sign in with it. Data is real time, has no fee, yeah, no annual fee. Clear cut entries, exits, and stops. You always know at uh, trade entry, we help you to do position sizing with models. How much time in the trade you saw this with the 10 bars that I just explained, risk handling, and we'll develop jointly a business plan. A business plan contains a financial plan so that you see what shall be the financial outcome of your trading but also on the other side it has an action plan what to do when and how and how to cope with certain situations on the chart to be part of this call us at 866-455-4520 or contact at neverlosstrading.com and we're also happy to show you live how our system works here we feature today never lost trading top line and the special report only available for top line users which is called the strong Movers Alert. We are looking forward to hearing back from you. Thank you very much for your attention.